Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about Mailbird and Thunderbird, compare the two and see which one comes out on top. In order to do so, here we are starting at go.getmailbird.com. And if you're interested in Mailbird, this is where you're going to want to come in order to download Mailbird and get started. Uh, as far as Thunderbird goes, this is thunderbird.net. And one of the key things to note about Thunderbird is that it is open source and it is something that was created by Mozilla. So if you are a fan of Mozilla Firefox and you want to support that company, then you might want to consider Thunderbird. Whereas Get uh, Mailbird was something that first started as a on, on the Mac platform and uh, now is something that's available for any platform. Uh, but uh, the key differences between the two of them is that Thunderbird is open source and entirely free. Whereas with Mailbird, they do have a free version, but it is limited. It doesn't have certain features unless you get the pro version. So um, with Mailbird, you do get a more refined experience. Uh, the, uh, the way that it's set up is uh, maybe um, aesthetically more pleasing and there might be uh, um, arguably uh, organized in a way that's a little bit more intuitive, but also there are certain features that you're only going to get access to if you are paying the paid version. Whereas with Thunderbird, it is entirely free. You can donate if you wish, but uh, it is free. It is open source and it is something that, um, has really gained a lot in popularity. And for anybody who is looking to try to get away from email, from the, the big companies like Microsoft and Google, you might want to consider Thunderbird. It uh, seems to me that it is a good alternative for anybody who's interested in open source platforms. And um, it has an emphasis on privacy and security. They both do really, they both uh, have a lot of good scores when it comes to uh, privacy and security. But um, I would say that based on the fact that Thunderbird is free and uh, it is really um, quite well regarded, uh, I might give the edge to Thunderbird. If you're okay with uh, paying for certain extra features, there are certain things with Mailbird that you might get with the premium service. But at the end of the day, for me, when it comes to what I might be more interested, I do like things that are open source created by the community. And um, I, uh, I think that the reviews for Thunderbird seem to be quite universally positive. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.